In the Bill of Material area, there's also an Exceptions Report. So if we click on this, it will show you what it uh, contains here. This is actually, it tells you here, parts that are not in the Bill of Material, but in the study. It's quite possible you could add parts that are not in your Bill of Material. Perhaps you delete a part in the Bill of Material, but it's still in the study. So that would be the case here. You can see there's no Bill of Material quantity, and the uses is one in this particular area. Same down here, there's seven washers being used. Two of them are used in this particular case and five here, but they're not in the current bill of material. You can also have parts that have a usage greater than the bill of material quantity. That might happen if you switch out a bill of material. Maybe one bill of material had um, had 14 parts in it, the next one comes in, it's only got 10, and you've already picked 12. So in that case, there would be a listing here showing you uh, how many were actually in the current bill of material and what the current uses was. And of course, in this case, the current uses would exceed the bill of material. This is no example here, but that's another exception that can be picked up here.